Okay, welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to do some buoy flying. We're going to try flying the up air over here out to that buoy out over there. So we got the fly sky set up. We're going to start uh, recording. And so we got the recording starting, I think. I'm going to double check this. So I think I got the recording starting. I think everything's working well on here. I uh, just want to make sure everything... Okay, recording starting. So I'm going to go ahead and arm the up air. Okay, so we got it armed. So we're going to we're gonna lift it up. And we're going to take it out over the lake a little bit. And we're going to try yawing it towards that buoy. So we're going to take it up and out and see what kind of distance we can get. Altitude hold. Trying to get my orientation. Get it up there and take it out there a little bit more. Okay, so I think I'm headed the right way with it. I'm trying to head out towards the green buoy out there. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can see it. Get the camera adjusted a little bit. I don't know if you can see the up air out there. Uh, the other thing, let's uh, start recording, starting to record some video on this now. I got it on the. Uh, I got to be getting pretty close. So I'm moving up that way. I'm about dead in line with it. I don't know if you can see it on the hat cam. But I'm about dead, dead center. Let me yaw it, around. Yaw it back. Change the gimbal orientation a little bit. So it's a pretty calm day on the lake. I think... I might be a little bit too high to see them on this camera. I'm thinking I should be pretty close to them. There's two buoys, a red one and a green one out there. And let's see. So that's Canada over there. We want to stay clear of Canada. They got some weird drone laws now. Uh, so we're out there quite a bit. So we're out 400. 461 meters and we're up about 60 meters. So let's uh, try going out a little bit further. Let's try reorientating the the camera. And let's see if we can go. We still got signal. I think I'm out about 500 meters. I can't quite see the uh, buoys on the FPV screen. I can still see I can still see the up air. It's hovering. I think the buoys would be. Let's 
so that's going back. I don't see... You can see land over there. But I don't see my buoys. Uh, let's tilt up the gimbal a little bit more and see if we can see as we pan. I'm not seeing them. But they're definitely out there. I should be right above the green one or pretty close to the green one. Let's push it out a little bit, see if I can go out a little bit further. I want to turn it so I'm angled down, so I'm pushing out over top of that. So I'm out there quite a ways, and I still got pretty good signal, so I'm out about 600 meters. That's actually not bad. That's probably about as, as far out as I've had the, uh, the up air. Again, kind of a, a warmer day out here, so I'm a little bit more uh, willing to take it out there. You know, when it's uh, around in the 20 degrees, it gets kind of cold. So I've been out there, so I've been up for about five minutes or so. But I'm really perplexed. I don't see the buoys. I should be seeing the buoys in my camera. So let me pan right down beneath me. I don't see any. Uh, just looking. So I'm panning back around, so I should be looking back at myself. So I'm looking back at myself. I'm pan pan the camera down. No, I can't really see anything. Let me go uh, back around. You notice I'm getting some bad signal on the FPV as I turn it because of the uh, the FPV transmitter on the leg of that thing. So still not seeing the buoys. I mean, maybe I'm up too high. So I'm up about 60 meters. I still should be able to see them beneath me. So I'm still actually, for those that are interested, quite a ways from uh, Canadian airspace. Canadian airspace is about a mile out from where I'm at. So I'm uh, actually going to bring it back. I'm going to work it back this way. So I should be, if you can see it, if you can see my hand, I'm about level with the red one, and the, the copter is right there. And if I tip my head up, the copter is right there, and the red buoy is, should be right beneath it or within its line of sight. I don't, I'm not sure why I'm not seeing it on the camera. Huh. Definitely don't see it on the camera. I want to yaw it back around. Back look down lake a little bit. So we're just panning around up here. So we're at about 61 meters. We're about uh, 680 feet out. Just sort of panning around. We're getting about eight minutes. I'm just wondering what my battery life is looking like on the, um... I'm still a little bit perplexed why I'm not seeing those buoys. I'm out far enough. There's the water beneath me. So you see the water beneath me. It's a real calm day on the lake today. I'm going to bring it down a little bit. I'm a little bit hesitant getting it too low. So 
So I got it about 60, 60 meters. It's out on the horizon. So we're still looking back towards us now. So I'm about here where you see the arrow pointing. Maybe if I look down, maybe I'm past them. Maybe that's what my problem is. I don't see them. Still don't see the buoys. I want to see if I can look up lake to see. There, there's a, actually a larger buoy out over there. Let's see if we can see it. Well, it's screen blank. That kind of freaked me out for a minute. Now, I don't know if it's the resolution of the screen or the camera, but I am not having a time seeing those buoys. Maybe in post I'll be able to see them and highlight them for you guys. Because uh, I just don't see the buoys. Oh, it saved out the video. That's why I broke the 10 minute mark. So this is, this is, this is down like, so you can see right here. So right here is the blue water bridge. You can see that off in the distance. And so if I turn back this way, I should be looking up lake and I should be able to see that other buoy. But I can't seem to make it out on this FPV screen. I've been up there for a while. So I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to initiate return to home. And bring this one back. Because I've been out there for about 11 minutes. So let's see. Is it going to initiate return to home or not? I would think it would start coming back this way. It says it's at over a kilometer out. I think it's doing something. Let's hope it's returning to home. Oh, it is returning to home. It's actually right above me. I didn't even see that come back. See it up there? Okay, wow. That actually made it back pretty quick. Let's see where it's going to land. That thing's getting kind of crazy. I wonder why it's doing that. I'm going to actually take it off and land it manually. That's kind of weird. Whoa. That didn't come down good. Something happened there. Let's disarm it. We saved the video out. Let me, I want to double check that the video is saved out. Yep. Something happened there with, uh, notice the camera's going all freaky. Uh, something happened. All right, so, well, she came back. That was probably the, first, the furthest out I've had this guy, gal, guy. And that's the first time I think I've had a problem with it actually uh, landing itself. You notice it kind of started spinning around, uh, coming around to me, and then... Uh, it really didn't come down nice. So I'm not sure what the problem is there. I'll check that out. So anyways, we didn't catch the buoys. Uh, I want to stop the recording here. So we got the signal there. So hey, we'll shoot for the buoys another time. They're still out there. So we're going to probably do some more flights today, but this is going to be it for this episode. So if you found this interesting, give it a thumbs up. And hey, if you're up here and did that kind of weirdness, let me know down below. We'll catch you in the next video. And don't forget, subscribe button's coming up over there. Cheers. Cheers.